Now, see a specific heat of gas, we have done a specific heat of solid and liquids. So, see here when the heat is given to the solid and liquid, so there is rise in temperature because their coefficient of expansion is very small. It means there is not much changes in the volume, but in case of the gases, when heat is supplied that is changed in the two parts in the two ways. One is one part of the given heat is used to rise the temperature of the gas, another part of the given heat is used to work against the pressure. So, see here in case of the gases there are certain limitations. Suppose you are taking here for the any gas C is equal to delta Q upon m delta T. We can write this expression in case of the molar specific heat also. Suppose first process you are taking, if delta T is equal to 0, there is no change in the temperature that is in case of the isothermal process. So, C will be here infinite. It means a specific heat of gas is here infinite in this case. Second one, if you are taking delta Q is equal to 0, it means there is no transfer of heat, no exchange of heat between the system and surroundings. In that case, a specific heat will be 0. So, here that is actually case of the adiabatic change, the specific heat of gas is 0. Now, third one we can take, if delta T is positive, then a specific heat C is positive. And also, if delta T is negative, so if delta T is negative, then you can write C is negative. In case, in case, in this case, a specific heat of gas can have any value. Now, see here, it can have 0, it can have infinite, it can have positive and it can have also negative value. Now, see a two principal specific heat of gas. Just now, we have seen a specific heat of gas can have uh, all values 0, positive, negative and infinite. So, out of all these uh, values only two values or the two mode of the specific heat has significance. One is here that is called C p. So, a specific heat of gas at constant pressure, it means the gas is heated here or the heat is supplied when the pressure of the gas is kept constant and another one is your C v. The Cv that is called a specific heat of gas at constant volume. So, we study here the specific heat of gas in the two ways, one is for the constant pressure, another one is for constant volume. But see here in this case Cv the work done is 0, it means whatever the heat is supplied that is used to increase the temperature or increase the internal energy of the gas. But see here in this case work done is not 0. So, whatever the heat is supplied that is used to change the internal energy that means to increase the temperature, but also doing the work against the pressure. So, obviously, to increase the temperature of uh, by unit degree more heat is required in this case. So, that will be here C p is greater than C v here out of these two and the ratio of these two that is written here the gamma is equal to that is called C p upon C v which we have used in the adiabatic process.